perhaps the suggestion of Jeremy to have recommendations coming out of the IGF would be a small step forward because even if those are not binding, at least then you can say, well, this is a guideline that all these people from all these different bodies have decided on together as something that all the bodies that discuss, say, intellectual property rights have to take into account. And the IP lobbies are also fairly strong in, for instance, ICANN. So it is not as if this is just a WIPO issue or just an ICANN issue. Or there are often issues that move from one place to the other. Um, a final kind of recommendation I think um, I should make is, since a lot of people are not here, since these processes are de decentralized, it would be good to have kind of, um, how to see, something to, to measure against whether a process is going in the right direction or not. And actually we have such a measurement. We've had that since the late 40s, which is the human rights instruments, which are really very used far, far, far too little in internet governance. So I think one way to make sure that the rights, that the interests of people who are not present in these fora uh, are taken into account at all times is to, to push much more for um, a consistent taking into account of human rights in all the discussions that we have.